Jesus is God, Jesus is Lord, Jesus has the victory. We all have a call, a call to greatness, a desire for it. We want to do something good. Now is your time. You could change the world, and the world needs changing, so get busy. Shalom World, God's own channel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who consecrated the first fruits of your apostles by the blood of St. James, grant, we pray, that your church may be strengthened by his confession of faith and constantly sustained by his protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we hold this treasure in earthen vessels, that the surpassing power may be of God and not from us. We are afflicted in every way, but not constrained, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying about in the body the dying of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our body. For we who live are constantly being given up to death for the sake of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. Since then, we have the same spirit of faith according to what is written, I believe, therefore I spoke. We too believe and therefore speak. 
knowing that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and place us with you in his presence. Everything indeed is for you, so that the grace bestowed in abundance on more and more people may cause the thanksgiving to overflow for the glory of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. rejoicing. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The mother of the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her sons and did him homage, wishing to ask for something. He said to her, what do you wish? She said to him, command that these two sons of mine, sir, may sit one at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. Jesus said in reply, you do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the chalice that I am going to drink? They said to him, we can. He replied, the chalice you will indeed drink, but to sit at my right and my left, that is not mine to give, but is for those for whom it has been prepared by my father. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so the Son of Man did not come to be served but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many." The Gospel of the Lord. It's a great joy to welcome you here this morning in the midst of this weather. I couldn't help but think before the Mass began that I had a parishioner in a former parish who used to always come to the early Mass on Sunday. And he would always tell me, literally every Sunday walking out of church, Father, remember, this is the Mass of the really faithful. I'm going to suggest to you this morning that anybody that came to Mass and didn't have their boat already out and ready, this is the Mass of the incredibly faithful. So it's good to have you all here this morning. It's especially wonderful to welcome those who are sharing our Mass by the Shalom Television Network, which I understand I was corrected just before Mass, is a worldwide television network, and there will be people all over the world who will be sharing with us this morning, this day on which we celebrate the life and ministry of St. James the Apostle, the brother of John and servant of our Lord. And I can't think of a better day that we, in which we need to remind ourselves the words that we heard from Paul's letter to the Corinthians as we began the liturgy of the word. 
We hold these treasures in earthen vessels. How often we make the mistake of seeing the saints, of seeing the apostles through the eyes of stained glass or because they have been enshrined in plaster. How often we forget the flesh and blood reality of the saints of God, of those who followed Jesus from the beginning of his ministry and those who have continued to follow across the ages. And I think sometimes we often say to ourselves, I can never be that good. I can never be that holy. I can never be that courageous to do what they have done, those who have gone before me. And yet the truth of the matter is, all of the great saints, all of the men and women who have served Christ in every generation have been of the same stuff as you and me. They have been men and women of flesh and blood who have come to put great faith in the truth that Jesus Christ is Savior, that Jesus Christ is Lord. They have come to know themselves, quite frankly, as earthen vessels, as vessels not worthy to carry the life of the Holy Spirit within them, but because of God's grace have been allowed to be a light of Christ in their generation. James and John, perhaps, are two of the greatest examples of what it means to carry these treasures in earthen vessels, because we see that it was across the course of their life, as they matured in their life in Christ, that their attitudes changed, their courage was strengthened, and they went out to proclaim good news that Jesus Christ is Lord. It fell to James to be the first among the apostles to be martyred for the Christian faith. When Jesus asked of him, are you willing to drink the chalice that I will drink? He is certainly indicating that he will die a death that brings glory to God through his own martyrdom, through his own witness, through his own proclamation and preaching that Jesus Christ is Lord. Interestingly enough, his brother John will be the last of the apostles laid to rest. He will be the one who will give us the great gospel that bears his name, that will proclaim to us the truth of God's flesh taking in the womb of the Blessed Virgin, that you and I might know life in this world and life eternal in the kingdom that is yet to come, and spiritual life in abundance, if we will only follow Christ and let him form and reform, mold and make us in his image as he did the twelve, as he did those who have responded across the ages to their preaching and their proclamation, as he will do for all those who in faith come to him saying, Jesus, Savior and Lord. We do hold the treasure of Christianity in earthen vessels. We hold it, quite frankly, in vessels that are fallible and broken. But we know that it is God himself who shares through us the truth that his son came into the world not to condemn it, but to save it, that all might know the peace that only God can bring. And so this morning we celebrate the feast of St. James, brother of John, first of the apostles to give his life for the sake of the gospel, an earthen vessel in whom the treasures of the kingdom of heaven may be found. My brothers and sisters, to mark our celebration of the Feast of St. James the Apostle, let us pray with faith and confidence for what we need. For the Christian community throughout the world, especially those who are sharing with us this Mass, that true to the heritage received from the apostolic community, we may remain faithful to the worship of God and the service of all the brothers and sisters. We pray to the Lord for the leaders of the nations, that they may be enabled to judge wisely and govern with care the people in their charge, and in particular the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For all who are engaged in care of the infirmed and handicapped, that they may generously share Christ's love with those in their care. Let us pray to the Lord. 
In grateful thanksgiving for the Shalom Network, we remember all Christians as they involved in the media of communications. May their voices echo that of Christ and may the images they project promote understanding and not prejudice. We pray to the Lord. Lord for those who suffer for their faith, may the courageous example of the apostles be their inner strength in every crisis. We pray to the Lord. For James Maloney, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for the intentions of those who are sharing this Mass by means of co the Mass communication, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for those needs and concerns of our own lives that we bring before the throne of God's grace. Holy Spirit, encourage and bless the gathering. Continue to be with my family and hear all the prayers of the For those who will be grafted into the body of Christ today through the sacrament of baptism, and for all those intentions that we still carry in the silence of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord God, may the lives of your holy ones inspire us to greater endeavor in the service of your people. May our lives be abundant in good works through Christ our Lord. Hymn 504, O Lord, I am not worthy, 504. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Plunge us, Lord, by the saving baptism of your Son's passion, so that on the feast of St. James, whom we, you will to be the first among the apostles to drink of Christ's chalice of suffering, we may offer a sacrifice pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and are for all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. James, whose feast we celebrate this day, and St. Timothy, our patron, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, the other are bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good, through him and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
us pray. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son should be born from among humanity, so that by a wonderful mystery humanity might be born again from you, we pray that in your kindness you may sanctify by the spirit of adoption those you have fed with the bread you give your children through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. commercial free Catholic charismatic channel. He's strengthening the faith of so many people. To promote the gift of church teaching. Dedicated for the new evangelization. God's blessings on your work. May God bless and prosper you. Shalom world. God's own channel.